Welcome to Jetta's Craft Cottage. Today we will be making these playing card holders. It is a great project for the kids to use and for adults when they're playing canasta where you have to have a lot of cards to hold. You'll need some lids from sour cream or cottage cheese and it could be either size. You could either use like the colorful ones. Whatever fits, they have to just match. You're going to use fabric. We're going to have some cardboard. I use just the soda cans. You could use cereal boxes. A felt pen. We're going to have felt. Brads. These are the brads that you used to have when you were kids just putting the papers together. I used some batting use batting or you can use polyfill some craft scissors and fabric scissors a drill and some tacky glue first we're going to drill a hole into the lid you can see there's a little bump right in the center that shows you where the center is i am using a mat board to or cutting board to make sure I am protecting my surface surface so I am going to just drill just enough to get a hole in for the brands to go in Oops. as you can see there's a hole there and you would do it to your this other side the second lid also we're going to now do the felt and I traced the lid around the felt in two spots also and I'm going to cut those out. Those should be pretty much the same size as the lid. Now cut the second circle. Oh, I have to get this. Now we will glue the felt onto the top of the lid, not the inside, the top. And you're going to make sure the glue goes all around and it's nice and smooth and go in the center also. And lay the felt right on top of it. You can let that set for a little bit until it's dry. Make sure you put the felt on both lids so that they are both going together. I have put the felt on the top of the lid, but I see that some needs to be trimmed. So you want to trim it as close as you can to the edge of the lid. Otherwise the cards will pop out. there. You can see it's nice and smooth. So you're going to put the bread through the first lid and then connect it to the second lid making sure that the felt is in the center and you're going to just open up the wings of the bread. So right now you ha actually have your holder. Next you're going to draw a circle around the lid so on the cardboard and I've drawn two circles here because I need one for the front and the back and we're going to just cut those out with the paper scissors. Now this will have to be done so you cut just a little bit inside. 
I'm going to do the same thing with the second one. You can see it's not quite, and you want it to be able to fit inside this. If it's not big enough or it's too big, you want to trim it down. I can see it's going to be too big right around this area here. like that. This is batting that I have left over and I drew the lid on top of the batting and I've doubled the batting so that I can cut it all out at the same time. I want a nice thick piece of batting to do the to make the cushion of my outside. So I'm going to cut these and I'm going to cut two sets of these also. So everything is in pairs. Now we have selected our fabric, we're going to use the template to just put in the center and go about a half inch on the outside. And I just drew a, a, a circle around it. And we're going to cut that out. When you're cutting fabric, you should always cut on the table, not do not lift it up towards your face because your fabric will always get messed up. So that's why I'm cutting on the table here. some little uh, lines here because when I do cut it I want to be able to cut the uh, cut it into it because when you're putting a circle on um, a template you don't want it to be um, wrinkled it will just go nice and smooth so now I have cut out two circles on this one I have put some mark so I can make some slits in it. So I'm going to slit it as it goes all the way around. And it should match, go right up to this circle. As you can see, I have slits in my circles. So when I fold it over, it will be nice. I'm going to add the piece of batting first and then I'm going to add the cardboard and as I'm going I'm going to put some glue right around the edges and start folding these little slots up and putting them in place. See how they overlap? And I'm going to continue this all the way around. So make sure you wrap both of the cardboards with the batting and the fabric and make and have the edges secure inside so they will look like this. It takes about five minutes, ten minutes to dry before we're doing anything like else. On one of the lids, I'm going to make sure I've got a lot of glue inside. I can go inside here. And as it goes in, you can either use your fingers and rub it or you can just smooth it out. And I'm going to add one of the lids, the covered uh, pieces of cardboard and stick it inside and let it set. You want to let it set for 15-20 minutes before you can actually use it. But I can do the second side right away. And I'm going to add some more glue. You can see the brad is sticking out. The brads will not be shown in your project. 
and people will ask you, well, how did you do that? You know, you can just tell them or just surprise them. And this is the next piece here. And again, hold it and squeeze it. This will take about, oh, 20 minutes to 30 minutes to dry. And then after that, we, you'll be able to use it. This is the finished product. It is the card holder. It's quick. It's easy. You can start playing cards, you know, right away. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe to this channel. And remember, a day without sunshine is just an extra day for crafting.